Hey, this is Driving with Miles. We're gonna talk about making some turns and merging on the expressway. So uh, we got the, the vehicle ready, it's all warmed up. The battery voltage is a little low, so I don't know what's going on. Um, usually it's 14.3, 14.4. So I stopped, I gotta look, the bushes are obstructing my view. We got the snowman right there, so I'm turning hand over hand into the turn, and I turn hand over hand out. This car does have a lot of accessories, so that does put a drain on the battery. So I'm just scanning, looking around, having good speed control. It's real easy to get distracted with all the Christmas ornaments still out, but Christmas is over. So I'm going up, I'm gonna turn on my left turn signal, and I uh, just wanna take my time. Neighborhoods are some of the most dangerous places, why? Because you let your guard down. So I'm gonna have a complete stop because I follow rules. My man still got his big, big truck truck, but I'm good, I've had my stop, I look, we share the road, and I turn out hand over hand. So I'm just taking my time driving, making it look good, good speed control. Always be aware, so I'm gonna turn on my right turn signal, 100 feet a half a block. I'm looking, always look where you wanna go. I'm turning hand to hand. A lot of beginning drivers will look at the car that's coming or they'll look at their hands and I turn out hand over hand. So that's a nice smooth turn, a scanning. They should be stopping, follow the rules of the right of way. I said should be because people don't follow the rules in neighborhoods and they get really careless. So when you're driving through neighborhoods, uh, parents or young drivers, you really gotta be careful. So I'm turning on my right turn signal. I'm going up to the edge. I'm looking left through the trees, looking right, and then I stop. Now I move forward. Okay, I'm looking for a gap. A gap is a space. Then I'm gonna make my turn in the nearest lane. I turn out hand over hand. And then I accelerate up. My battery, battery voltage is still a little bit low, so we're gonna have to check on that. The oil pressure is good. I'm gonna make a lane change to the left. Mirror turn signal blind spot. I'm in the lane, nice and smooth. Speed limit here is 50. I'm at a chilled 48 miles an hour. Just taking our time, getting where we need to get. Got a yellow light. So I'm gonna have a nice, smooth, easy slowdown. And I'm gonna be a good role model and stop behind that stop line. On your DMV test or road test, you need to stop behind the stop line. You wanna be able to check your mirror every 12 to 15 seconds. And we're gonna proceed over the bridge. So you always wanna look, check your gauges, lights green, we look, we check. Then I'm accelerating. I normally drive a little spirited, meaning, you know, I'm safe. I always have to be consistent. I can't, you can't just go out like a crazy person, a mad person. You gotta be really relaxed and safe. So this is where you're supposed to merge in. The line is broken. Here's another tip. You wanna stop behind this stop line because cars making their left-hand turn, if you're past the stop line, they're gonna knock your front end off. So learn from that. And you can look at the cars coming close to us, but if you value your, your car, and you should, you wanna you know, set good examples. Some of us waiting, seeing traffic go by, being patient, taking my time, in no hurry at all. And that's the discipline you have to have. So I have a blinking yellow. I'm waiting for traffic to go by. If it's clear, I can turn on yellow. If not, you will have a green arrow. So I'm just here waiting. Traffic coming off the expressway, they have a red. If they're making their right turn, they can turn on red. I'm looking for a gap. Here's my gap. I'm making my turn. And on your DMV test or road test, they're gonna look for you to accelerate and you wanna take your time, I'm looking, you see me looking at traffic, looking for a gap. But if I look too long, I'm gonna drift off the road. Right about now, you turn on your left turn signal. I have to get up to speed quickly because there was a car behind me, even though the speed limit is 70. I was at a nice chill 6.6. Six. So you wanna increase your following distance, keep space, everything's good. Oil pressure's good. The oil temperature is 203 degrees. Battery voltage is in the range but this is telling me this battery could have its last life for this winter but i want to watch that the vehicle usually starts up in the first or second crank know your vehicle know how it is so i have good speed control nice distance i'm cruising at 65 miles an hour we're going to be getting off at this unusual exit so this is a great way to show you so speed control is good 
if you drift to the right like that vehicle, you will get a deduction in point. Your DMV test, your road test, just looking for you to maintain good speed control. You're safe, you're taking your time. And at this particular exit, we'll be getting off. I wanted to show you this because it's a little bit unusual. So real nice speed control, checking my mirrors every 12 to 15 seconds. This car does have blindside alert, but you can always rely on that. You have to be your own blind side alert. So we're still at freeway speed. It's a really long ramp. Taking my time, this solid white line tells you this is where you need to be if you're getting off at this exit. I'm lifting off of my foot. You can see my speed gradually dropping down. It's about timing. And then I squeeze my brake before I get into the turn. It's like an S-curve, so centrifugal force won't pull us off into the ditch to the left. And I don't want to go into the ditch. I'm not trying to do that. So I'm maintaining my speed. Warning signs tell us there's a light ahead. You can go left or right. We need to be in the appropriate lane. We need to be in the middle left lane. So make sure you're in the appropriate lane. I'm looking around the curve, gradually turning my wheels. And this is gonna be a beautiful slowdown. Left turn signal is on. You wanna see the rear of the tires on the ground. And you can see the red arrows. We have two lanes that go left. We have two lanes that go right. You cannot go straight. You'll go over the bridge, back into the freeway, to grandma's house. You don't wanna do that. When we turn, I'll be in the lane to the right all the way by the guardrail. If we're in the inside lane to the left, if we turn and we were in that lane, we would be right by the double yellow. So in your DMV test or road test, you need to know. Let's look back at our SRT gauges. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, the battery voltage is a little bit low. Oil pressure is fine. Uh, oil temperature stayed about the same. Everything is looking good. So let's review. Uh, give this a thumbs up. If you like this type of content, it should be in 4K. I do appreciate you. Thank you.